Hi guys, um, I'm photographing red deer today and uh, it's the beginning of October and October is a really good time to photograph red deer because it's during the rutting season. So from the end of September through to the first half of uh, October uh, you've got the deer rut going on um, and I'm particularly looking for red deer and what I'm hoping for is to get some really dramatic shots of the red deer uh, sort of rutting or fighting, that's the males, the stags and the reason you get that is because during the rutting season as I'm sure you're probably aware, but you have normally in each area one dominant stag and that'll be the strongest stag and he'll have a, a harem of females and he'll be looking to mate with all of those females. The thing is, there'll be other stags that also want to mate with those females and if the stags, like the challenger, feels he's evenly matched with the dominant stag then there'll they'll obviously be a rut and uh, they'll fight for dominance. Um, even if you don't get those rutting pictures, this time of year is fantastic because you've got bellowing stags, uh, if it's early in the morning you know you see the mist coming out from uh, sort of their nostrils that can be fantastic. Sometimes you get mist with that lovely back lighting so the mist glows and the stags stand out against the back light. Um, the females look fantastic as well so there's so many photo opportunities and I've only just turned up and I've already got some lovely shots of um, a, uh, a, a really juvenile stag. So he's not a big stag but he's, he was just behind me uh, in amongst all the ferns and it was absolutely fantastic. So um, I've got some lovely pictures already. The light's quite soft at the moment but that's not a big problem because it's cloudy so we've got soft light because that soft light brings out the texture of the fur so that's quite nice. But I'd also, I'm here for two or three days so I'm hoping to get a misty morning so I've got the, you know, that lovely misty sort of atmospheric effect with the, 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 uh, the deer just sort of emerging from the mist. If it rains, that doesn't matter because um, you get wet fur and all that texture comes through. And then if the sun comes out, you get steam coming off the fur. So that's really good as well. So all in all, uh, the deer rut is a fantastic thing to photograph. Um, even though this is a deer park, these are still wild animals. So during the rut in particular, you have to be really, really careful and give them a lot of respect because at this time of year the stags are all pumped up with hormones and they are a lot more aggressive than they would be in normal times. So I've got my 200 to 500 millimeter zoom lens here and I'm gonna be shooting at quite uh, a long focal length. So more the 500 millimeter end of that zoom in order for me to stay quite a long way back because safety is the key thing. These stags are generally okay for people but if you know you take liberties and get too close they can become aggressive and you have to keep your eye behind you as well because sometimes you might get another stag coming behind you or um, one of the females might break away from uh, the stag's harem and come behind you as well and then you're between the your dominant stag and either a rival or one of his hinds and that's not a place you want to be so you need to move out of the way reasonably quickly obviously uh, in a sort of orderly sort of not panicked manner so just move out of the way quickly so if you're going to do um, uh, photography during the red deer rut and you're going to photograph red deer you do need to take safety first so keep an eye behind you to make sure there's nothing uh, happening behind you give the deer a respectful distance and if you feel that um, you're, you're stressing any of the animals out then move off because the same, this is the same as any wildlife photography the subject in my opinion always comes first so if you're getting too close or if you're uh, you're too intrusive and the normal behaviour of the deer is being disrupted then you have to walk away because it's not worth upsetting any wild animal for a picture obviously. Um, so I don't want to be too preachy but my, that's my philosophy. I never want to uh, stress um, one of my subjects and I'd rather not get the shot. But aside from that, during this time there's so much going on and they're so, the deer are so sort of uh, concentrating on their own stuff that you can get some fantastic pictures without any disruption to the deer's behaviour whatsoever and it's a great, great, great uh, experience. I love the deer rut, it's absolutely fantastic. There's loads of action, loads of atmosphere and it's really good. I'm shooting with a fast shutter speed so I want at least a 500th of a second to freeze any of that motion and to avoid camera shake. I'm on my, uh, my Manfrotto gimbal head so I've got plenty of movement, I can pan, I can move it up and down but this gimbal head gives me lots of support so that's great and I can just stick it on my shoulder and have a wander around and it's really comfortable. Um, because the light level is quite low it does mean I'm shooting with quite a wide aperture. I'm on uh, f6.3 which is giving me a nice fast shutter speed and I'm on ISO 400. So I want a minimum of a 500th of a second. If I can get a thousandth of a second, that, can you hear that? That's one of the um, 
that's one of the stags bellowing. I don't know if you can, I don't know if this mic's picking it up, but I hope it is. So you get these lovely, deep, throaty roars of the stag, and it's absolutely awesome. So that's um, about it for now. Um, as I say, I've already got some, uh, some video footage and some stills of a, uh, a young uh, stag just in the background here. So obviously I'll chop them in, or put them into this, this vlog, and I'm going to get loads of great shots, which I'll, I'll put on the vlog at various stages. Uh, and I'm going to go down that way now, because there's a bellowing stag, with a little harem of uh, females, so uh, it's a um, really good photo opportunity. So I'll speak to you soon guys, but this is so exciting, I so love this time of year. Beginning of autumn always starts for me with the, uh, the red deer rut and it's superb, so I'll speak to you soon guys. Hi guys, this is fabulous. Um, just in the background, um, you probably can't see it on this camera, but I've got some great footage already. I've got a, a, a fully grown stag uh, with uh, a few females. It's been roaring away. Uh, you can probably, uh, you'll probably be able to hear the, uh, the noise in the background at some stage. Uh, he's looking really good. So I'm gonna get out of the way, but he, it'll be out of focus because the, uh, the stag's sort of slightly in the distance. Uh, but I'm gonna take some video footage on this camera. So, but I'll just stand out of the way now. So just in the background there, uh, we've got um, a stag and, and a few females. Uh, the light is just popping out, so I've got a little bit of light coming out from behind the cloud. So that's giving me a little bit more di directional light, which is great. Um, there's been a nice bit of interaction with the stag and the hind, so that's lovely, because it's not all about the big action shots. You're looking for all these little bits of animal behavior to get up a nice variety of shots in a day or a couple of days. So it's all good, um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna take some stills now as well. Um, and uh, I'll leave this running for a little while. Uh, I'm certainly going to put the mic on this camera, so hopefully we'll get some video footage and some nice sort of uh, roaring in the background. You know, these stags, they, when they bellow, it's so, so deep and powerful. It's a really great thing to hear and, and watch as well when uh, they're roaring like anything. So uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon um, shooting a little bit of video footage and some stills. And I think that's about it for now. Um, I might. Uh, pop up again on, on uh, this vlog uh, tomorrow or the next day or uh, literally I might just shoot the wild, photograph the wildlife and video the wildlife now so as I say great great place um, the deer rut is one of those autumn things that as a wildlife photographer I don't think you want to miss so um, yeah that's bye for now guys and uh, I'll speak to you soon
Right, hi all. Um, I had a fantastic three days photographing the red deer. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I had a very big mix of weather conditions, so I had a really misty morning, which was fantastic. It's the sort of thing you really that really adds atmosphere to your shot. So I had this lovely mist. I had the stags roaring in the mist. They were backlit, so I moved into a position where the sun is behind my subject. So that makes the mist glow, and you get this lovely outline of light around the deer, and the deer's breath is backlit, so that looks really great. So, and they're roaring in the mist, it was fantastic. Um, also had some cloudy conditions, uh, which is okay, because if you're doing a furry animal in particular, that lovely soft light um, really gives you a sense of detail and texture in the fur. And then I had some sunny conditions as well, and they were great, because I tend to find on the sunny conditions, the pictures just look a little bit sharper. So that was great. I mean, I had a, uh, some deer sort of briefly sort of rutting, so antlers locked. Uh, didn't last for very long, but that was great as well. Um, so a real variety of pictures. I also photographed um, a parakeet, um, which is like a little parrot-like bird, which is um, non-native to this country, but great subjects. They're really bright and they really stand out um, against the background. And apparently, this is one of those little stories that's probably not true, but the first two parakeets were uh, released by Jimi Hendrix in the 60s, and all the other parakeets are descended from those two. So it's probably not true, but what a great story, and I hope it is true. Anyway, though, the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, where to focus on the animal. So I don't want to talk about focusing modes, because I've done that in a previous vlog, but basically where you focus on the animal. So obviously, if you're doing a, uh, a shot of uh, an animal, or a, a person for that matter, you're going to focus on the eyes. Uh, and if the animal's got its head turned, you focus on the eye that's closest to you. So that eye is pin sharp. And the other thing is as well, uh, when you're photographing, say, a single bird on its own, it's quite easy to um, just focus on the bird's head and the uh, background's nicely out of focus and you've got a really simple background. But when you've got the, de the deer, they're at this time of year, they're in little herds. So you've got the main stag and then his little group of hinds around him. So that makes it a lot harder. And if you've got more than one deer, what I would generally do is focus on the deer that's closest to me. And I think that works well. So you've got the main deer that's in focus, pin sharp in the foreground, and then other deer in the background that might be slightly out of focus, and that focus drops off to hopefully quite a blurry background and adds to a nice, simple, effective shot. Um, and I think that works for the best. I don't think it works if the deer that's closest to you is slightly soft and then ones that are further back are in focus. I just don't think that works. So you focus on the front deer. If the deer's got his head turned, um, you would focus on the part of the deer, so the eye that's closest to you. Um, so that's focusing really. And the other thing I wanted to quickly mention was to, to make sure you have a nice simple shot. So if you've got a deer on its own, or let's say a bird on its own, it's quite simple to uh, have a really nice plain background and focus on that bird and you've got no other distractions. But the thing with a deer right, is you've got the main stag and then you've got loads of deer around him because he's protecting those deer because he wants to mate with them. Which makes for um, a slightly more complex image. So what I tend to do is wait until like the, the deer I'm photographing walks to the side of the group so it's, it's separated from all those other deer and they're not distracting or getting in the way. The last thing you want is a deer in the front and then another deer or part of a deer just sort of popping up in the background and merging in with your main subject. So that's what I tend to do, wait until they walk to one side or there's a little gap so they're separated from all the other deer. Or if you're doing a stag, maybe the stag's roaring and he's standing up and bellowing but all the hinds are sitting down. That again works because you've got the deer, you've got the, the, uh, the hinds that he's protecting to give that shot context but they're not getting in the way because they're lower and the stag's higher. So that's it really. Um, yeah, fantastic three days. I really, really enjoyed it. And as I say, sort of the deer rut is my start to autumn really. And I love this time of year. Um, it lasts for about two or three weeks, the main action. Uh, probably last week in September through to about the middle of October. Uh, and we're in about, the, the, we're just coming up to the second weekend in October. So uh, it will be finishing quite soon. Uh, and it's a great experience and I've, anyone that hasn't photographed a deer, as long as you keep yourself safe uh, and be aware of you know, uh, what the deer are doing, uh, I think it's a really great experience. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, um, thanks for watching and listening and if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already, if you, consider, if you can consider subscribing to my channel that would be great 
And if you do subscribe, press the little bell icon so you're notified when uh, my next vlog will be up. And uh, you can give it a like, also a thumbs up, that'd be superb. And any shares are always uh, most welcome. So uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Um, bye for now, and uh, until my next vlog, I'll speak to you soon, guys.